You want to hear a crazy story? Four guys walk into my studio. Maybe you know them. They're Soundgarden. <laughs> Chris Cornell comes walking in wearing a Pearl Jam shirt. I am like, Chris, you really shouldn't wear an unsigned band's T-shirt because when it gets in, when these pictures are in Rolling Stone, no one's going to know who they are. And Chris is like, Karen, they're my friends, and I want to help them out. I said, OK, half the shoot. So then later, this is my studio, and he gets up in my windowsill, and he, and he just does the Jesus Christ pose in my windowsill. And I didn't ask him to do it, and I, I didn't even know they had a song called Jesus Christ Pose. And so he's up there in my, in my window, and I'm like, OK, click, 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 three frames. Three frames. If you ever saw Chris Cornell live, uh, unbelievable. I mean, that guy's voice, it is one of those soulful, angelic voices. I mean, and talk about heavy. <laughs> that band, I swear, I mean, oh, I don't know. I thought they were kind of metal, man. They were so freaking hard. And, and they were just like, da 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 And we would just rock out. I actually took the first photos uh, when Ben joined the band. I have the original photos. And uh, I drove to Portland and took pictures of them. And then, and then later they came to my studio, uh, you know, and I did those other shots. And then, um, but Chris Cornell, what an entertainer. The minute I heard Creep on the radio, I was like, holy shit, I'm shooting this band. I fell in love the minute I heard their song. And so, they, you know, they're on tour and they came and they played Rock Candy. I called the, um, I called the record guy, I said, dude, I gotta shoot this band. He's like, come on down during the day. And so I'm down there and I set up my lights and you know, this is when we're all gelling, you know, so I gelled them orange and the sky's blue and we're shooting in the alley. And I'm like, okay, chin up, chin down. And so I, I took these pictures and it ended up only, it ended up being their second photo session ever. And then they ended up putting that photo on Creep. This is a European, it's, it's a limited edition European Radiohead for creep. Look at this. I mean, this is what I'm talking about. It was the orange and the blue, and this is the shot that's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I always have to listen to the music before I do the photo shoot, literally. Otherwise, otherwise, I don't know what to shoot. Like, I, it comes to me, and I don't ever want to take the same picture of a different band. And I didn't want to take the same picture. Like, even if I shot Radiohead again, I wouldn't take the same picture. And so it just comes to me through the lyrics and through the music. Funny thing about Pearl Jam is I went to the premiere of the Pearl Jam 20 movie, and Eddie Vedder is standing in his hallway, and he's like, oh, here's a picture of my third concert. And I'm sitting there, and I'm like, what? I got your first concert. I knew I had the first concert. I just didn't know how rare they were. So I ended up calling Kelly Curtis, and I said, Kelly, hey, I got pictures from Pearl Jam's first concert. He's like, no way. 